Hey guys, welcome back to Waters Family Homestead. Well, I decided I'd start cutting a little bit of grass. So I started out and finally got that fence pulled out here and cut inside the fruit tree part of the chicken run. And you see, I had the sprinkler running. Looks like I got a couple things that are clogged to them. I have to flush that. But that can be explained in just a second. So I got all that cut, and I was going to open the gate, but, you know, I got cut around the edges of the fence and all, and I went up through here and was cutting up at this end. Y'all see the mower up there? Had all the chickens out. Those of you that follow the channel pretty regular, probably know so I was cutting and I turned around and I backed into that doggone water line I had to come out the side of the pump house and went down into the ground here it feeds all three chicken pens it runs over to the barn there's a faucet at the end over there then it runs over to the other corner of the barn that's what I'm using for the irrigation on the, on the garden well, I backed into that war line and busted it. I said, dadgummit. Well, good thing was, it actually didn't even break. The glue didn't hold around the cutoff valve. It just kind of broke loose. But either way, I went ahead and took it out. That I ain't going to take that chance no more. And I took this faucet and everything off. I had to, it, it made it leak back here at that T where it reduces from one inch to three quarter. So I had to go dig through my stuff and find that. I got tons of three quarter, but not tons of one inch. But if y'all can see all the fittings in the glue and that stuff, I went ahead and cut all that out, ran new up to here, and I changed that faucet from a half inch to a three quarter, hoping I'd get a little bit more volume, I don't know. But, and I went across and came down and went into the ground inside the building and come back over and connected that way i don't have any pipe sticking out except for the actual faucet and that will actually go in a little bit more but far as i can tell no leaks thank goodness and i've got water i had to turn it off as i had a cutoff valve in here anyway now i still have a cutoff valve in there so i don't have the one that was outside but i've still got one in here so I still had water to the house until I cut everything loose. But, so I've got a cut off out there. Let me turn the light on. And that's the one I turned it off with so that I wouldn't be spraying everywhere while I was getting my stuff together. And then I cut it off to the house with the main cut off there. Cut it all loose and redone it. So I've spent the last hour, dug up this end of the line, got everything dry fitted and then glued back together cleaned with pipe cleaner make sure it'll hold this time instead of break loose and uh, i'm gonna have to re-insulate it of course but there's less sticking outside most of it's inside the building now except for what goes down at that corner so at this corner right here i'm going to add and dirt around it to kind of close that back in but um anywho I'm sure many of you have run into that same problem at some point in time, and I just wasn't paying attention. I just backed right up into the hump of the motor back there, hit that water line, and when I pulled forward, I was like, crap, it was just a flooding out there. So I didn't finish cutting. I wasn't going to finish anyway, but <laughs> that's a lot cleaner. It has less exposed pipe, so when I feel the dirtying around the edge, That'll make it better insulated for the winter time too. So I'm gonna get off here. I've spent an hour fixing my screw up and I probably should have did it that way to begin with so that I didn't have any exposed pipe, but I like the idea of having the cutoff valve out there easy to get to. But there is one right inside the door. All I gotta do is open the door, reach in and turn it. And that one works perfect, plus I've got the main. So there's two different ways I can cut water off if there's something bust somewhere out here to well. There's still cut off valve down at that end. There's a, I'm not sure if I put one here 
or not, but I, I've got a faucet there. And then I've got one on the back of the house, which I just replaced this year. So shouldn't have no problem with that. The rabbits are already out running around. The chickens have not quite decided all of them to go to roost yet. And as y'all can tell, the baby chicks are really, they go in to this middle pen pretty much and sit around that feeder and eat. Um, some of them go back to their pen. You see there's, well, a couple of them in there. I don't know why that one's wing spread out. I hope I don't have one that got attacked while I wasn't paying attention. I'm about to go in there and check on them. <laughs> but either way, they all get up around the corner of that nesting box in that middle pen. So I have to shoo them out and make them go into their pen at night. But it does them good to be exposed to the adults. So, All right, well, let me get off here and... Try to cut just a little bit more grass and get the chickens put up. I've already filled their feeders, fed the cats, dog, all that stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. I've still got a little bit of sinus and crap going on from that flu bug or whatever it was I had. But it, it's getting better. My voice is almost back. So, <laughs> Good thing I stock a lot of plumbing supplies, y'all. I ought to have been making a mad dash to town to get my water fixed because i can't i mean the, the chickens can go a few days without water it's not a big deal i can turn it you know off fill it up by hand whatever but the house i can't run without water in the house at least not planning on it so i'm gonna go ahead and turn this sprinkler off because i'm gonna have to unscrew the plug on the end of it and uh <laughs> clean it out because it looks like a few of the lines are stopped up so and this one will probably be my next project. I thought that was a good idea to keep grandkids away from it, but honestly, mm, not liking it too much. I may just put a post in the ground right beside it and attach it to the post and the building, kind of protect it a little bit. I don't know, but I'm not liking that a whole lot, so I may change it. Got plenty of three-quarter. I bought a box of 50 elbows, a box of 50 couplings, and a box of 50, you know, this, that, and the other. I got couple dozen three-quarter cutoff valves ball valves so <laughs> i better start buying some more one inch before i have another mess up like that that i can't fix and i looked i've got just enough to do the exact same thing i did today again if i had to but guys i do appreciate y'all watching the videos hope you got a laugh out of me today having to break my own water line and fix it <laughs> Just shows you, I hope you're stocking plumbing parts because one day we may not be able to run to the store and get stuff. And I've got a lot, but I still need more. Y'all be good. Remember what I always tell you. Jesus loves you, and so do I. Y'all be safe. Be prepared. And with that, good night.